Science is fun. It's messy. It makes you think. It's totally cross-curricular. It's indoors. It's outdoors. It's out of this world. At Anson Primary School, attainment in science had dropped for the youngest of our learners. In a curriculum squeezed by the need to s-ow-n-d out words phonetically and learn all about exclamation sentences, what fun that is, attainment had fallen. We were 15% behind other schools in the area and almost 20% behind schools nationally. In situations like this, as a school leader, there are two options. Number one, fix the graph. This is a linear graph and this is the same information in a logarithmic graph. No significant gap and no need to do any work. Feet up in the staff room with a cup of tea and a few donuts. Or we could do the morally correct thing and fix the problem. We chose number two. The problem with science is you blink and you miss it. When a balloon bursts, Newton's first law of motion kicks in. An object will stay in rest until another force acts upon it, but you don't see it. Using iPad and camera, we were able to slow science down. With slow motion, we can see that the water doesn't move until gravity takes a hold. And it sounds amazing. With slow motion science, we could see what happened to the smallest drop of liquid. We could see the concentric ripples were not part of the original droplet, but the original drop made stars. Out of this world, right? We could explore forces and Newton's second law, watching the point of impact, the impulse and the resulting reaction. We did this with our whole of our primary school. Children aged 4 to 11, in the classroom, outside the classroom, and in our unique interactive science lab. Everyone engaged in thinking scientifically, working scientifically, digital leaders capturing everything using iPad. It was transforming what was possible. Teachers began thinking differently. We were knocking down science stereotypes. We published the project using iBooks author with videos, explanations and key questions for other educators. And so with children working more scientifically and teachers using technology to capture science using slow motion, time lapse and video, we studied the impact. In June, we submitted data like this. We were ahead of Brent schools and schools nationally. I may have adjusted the y-axis for extra impact. Science is fun, it's messy and it makes you think. And with slow motion science, it's not blink and you miss it. You don't even need to miss the blink.